Ladies and gentlemen, good afternoon. Um, it's my pleasure to stand and speak here to share um, my little experience as well as introduce um, Fine Art Asia to all of you. So um, what is the business of Fine Art Asia? Um, to start, uh, we are the art fair. I think um, a lot of people um, already attend art fair before, uh, either in Hong Kong or in other countries. Uh, Final Asia actually uh, grows with the Hong Kong market. Um, I remember uh, in 2005 or 2006 uh, when the first Final Fair in Asia started, um, which is us, um, the foundation was an antique fair. And at that time, um, it was, the market was quite quiet. Um, Sotheby's, I think, at that time, more or less just arrived Hong Kong or just started the sales in Hong Kong. Um, Art Basel or Art Hong Kong actually not started yet. That's why, um, why I said uh, we witness or we grow with Hong Kong because in the past 10 years, uh, the, the market actually um, grow a lot and also we, we, we have seen a dramatic um, change um, in the whole landscape, um, in the business of um, art business in Asia. Uh, Kevin uh, already um, introduced why Hong Kong is so important, um, because of the taxation, because of all other uh, reasons, including um, us um, in Hong Kong um, having the well-established infrastructures for, um, for our art business, including logistics, storage, as well as our banking and legal systems. Um, that's why um, it also helped us to grow very healthily here in, in Hong Kong or in Asia. So what is Fine Art Asia? Uh, we are um, an international fine art fair held every October in this venue, Hong Kong Convention and Exhibition Center. Um, as I said, uh, we started as an antique fair and until 2010, uh, we changed our name and rebrand ourselves as Fine Art Asia. And I actually at that year I joined and then in 2011 I um, became the co-chairman and director and started to um, work closely with my team and to um, do a lot of international marketing and try to enrich the content of this fair because we see a big opportunities um, in front of us to bring a lot more different forms of art um, for this region and introduce a lot of different um, interesting uh, art pieces to the collectors. So um, since 2010, um, we began to introduce different types of art, including fine jewelry, um, for example, contemporary art as well, um, as well as some Western paintings. Um, we also uh, introduced uh, art and design to the market for the very first time. I remember 2012, um, I did an exhibition. Uh, the theme is Italian design furniture um, from 20th century to eternity. Uh, at that time, um, we were lucky to work with the dealer to bring a collection of uh, collectible um, 20th century design furniture from Italy, uh, mostly uh, started from uh, 70, um, 1970s to 20th, uh, late 20th, um, 20th century. And we got a very, very um, popular, um, po positive response. This also gave me a lot of confidence um, that actually this market um, is able to accept or absorb some new ideas in terms of collecting art. So now Final Asia, we already um, developed uh, six main categories, including antiques, old master, impressionist and modern art, um, and fine jewelry, as I said, um, antique silver, timepieces, design and decorative art, contemporary art, and Chinese ink paintings. And also based on our experience, um, just a little bit um, out of the track. Um, this December, um, actually two weeks later, I'm going to launch a brand new fair specializing in modern and contemporary ink, uh, also in the convention center. And the fair is called Ink Asia. So maybe 
in the next few minutes, I also can tell more about why we do that because purely for the business uh, reason, but as well as for um, for align al alignment of our cultural strategies. So, um, Final Asia is a fair. Um, when we do the fair, we do B two B and B two C. Now become more B two C because uh, we um, at the moment we have around one hundred galleries from all over the world to come to Hong Kong to join us. Uh, we have around uh, thirty galleries from the UK every year to come to Hong Kong. Um, in, also, we have uh, dealers and galleries from New York, Paris. Um, other cities of uh, Europe, Asia as well, um, including Taiwan, Southeast Asia, Japan, uh, Korea, as well as, as mainland China. Um, this platform, every year we welcome around 30 to 40,000 visitors. Most of them are collectors. Um, our collector base um, is Hong Kong-based collectors. Um, in the past 10 years, um, I'm also proud to say that Final Asia is um, developed it itself as a local homegrown uh, art enterprise, uh, well recognized by the local collectors. So we have very strong support from them. Uh, aside from the local collectors, um, in the last three, four years particularly, uh, I have seen a growing number of um, visitors uh, and art lovers coming from Southeast Asia and needless to say, uh, mainland China and Taiwan as well. The whole uh, venue um, of the exhibition hall is 80,000 square feet. So we have um, 100 booths together with um, other special projects. Uh, a special, special project is talking about we will create some interesting or some exhibitions with uh, specific themes on one side, um, this will enhance the environment, but at the same time, um, this is also our mission and vision of uh, enhancing the um, knowledge of art and also to uh, enriching the experience of collecting art. Um, that's why this exhibition, not necessarily every time we do for sale, but it's like education, sharing of knowledge, as well as um, increasing the ability of appreciation of art um, for our collectors, especially for the new audience. And because of this, uh, we also um, set up an art lecture room. So we will invite different experts, um, including Mr. Fabio Rossi, who also uh, attended and also spoke to us um, at the fair uh, with different uh, um, topics from antique to contemporary. So when you go to Final Asia, um, it is a quieter, a very relaxing environment because we always call ourselves like a little museum, but this museum is not little because we have 80,000 square feet. And people in the art fair, you can talk to the dealers, um, you can do private uh, discussion um, about the price and all other matters. Uh, unlike auctions, um, you have to raise your pedals and then sometimes exciting, but sometimes very stressful, sometimes also out of your control. But then in the fair, you have the freedom to decide whether you want to collect or what um, your, you know, your budget. And also, this is a good opportunity for you to build personal relationship with our participating dealers. And I'm also um, glad that these dealers, especially a lot of them coming to Hong Kong almost every year um, to join us. Um, some of the dealers now become friends, and then some of them are very visionaries. Uh, I remember we had a dealer that um, he told us that I will spend five years um, in Hong Kong with you guys, uh, because I know um, doing business with Chinese people is not like one-off or um, like opportunistic. Um, it is all about like building up relationship as, as well as trust. So the first two, three years, um, he almost recorded no sales, which means so they, um, he lost money, but then he said it's an investment. So starting from the third years, um, he became very happy and told us that, ah, we had some regular clients. 
coming and then decided to collect and then also visited um, his gallery uh, in London. And I remember last year, he was the first one to, you know, to run around the venue and tell us that uh, he sold a very important piece of um, Rodin sculpture to a Chinese buyer um, at a very um, favorable price um, to both sides. And I think this is also um, a pleasure for us to see um, our dealers um, having business growth with us, as well as um, our collectors who feel very confident and very comfortable to buy expensive art um, in our venue. And um, this year, I, I started uh, a new project called the World of Design, um, which is um, a mixture of um, design and art um, in the same area. So this curated exhibition um, is about um, also the confidence of my team, including myself, that um, the, the, new, the new rich, um, the, particularly in China, and also other collectors, they become more and more open-minded. Um, they also believe in the, in, in, in the vision that um, collecting art is not just about um, investment or about money, but it's also about appreciation of life. And collecting art is also part of um, your lifestyle. So uh, I, I always tell um, my colleagues as well as my collectors, uh, we have to live with art. So we collect one piece, you can bring, uh, um, you know, display at home or in your office area. And you can also mix with um, different types. For example, an antique chair, you can also hang a very beautiful um, impressionist paintings. Or you can also um, mix with some European collect, um, design furnitures at one space. This will be eclectic, but also this is also part of the enjoyment of your life. And that's why um, the World of Design exhibition this year also is very successful. Um, uh, I'm very glad that um, this concept works and then we will continue to develop more and more new content through this platform. And doing the art fair on one side, um, I mentioned that uh, we see the growth of the whole Hong Kong art market or the Asian art market because um, on one hand, a lot more Western dealers or galleries coming to Asia to seek for new opportunities. Um, this is also the fact that um, in Europe or in the West, the economy is not exactly very stable in the last few years. While in Asia, we see the economic growth um, quite promising. Um, and also the, 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 the appearance of a lot of new generation rich um, who give a very good driving force for the art market to grow. Um, us, um, Final Asia or Art Fair is actually, um, is, um, we place ourselves between like um, the primary market, the gallery market as well, uh, uh, and um, auction market. So this is a, a bridge that we can bring everybody together. And this is um, also a platform that not just for uh, buy and sell, but it's also for building relationship. And Hong Kong TTC um, particularly asked me to introduce this first ever partnership between Final Asia Hong Kong and Masterpiece London. So I'm very glad that I can share this experience. Um, to us, we already established here in Hong Kong or in Asia. Um, the next goal for Final Asia is to promote this brand as an international uh, art enterprise. Therefore, in 2013, I um, started to discuss with a couple of international fair companies um, for partnership, and finally, we worked with Masterpiece London. So Masterpiece London uh, held every um, June in London, similar fair like Final Asia, as they also feature different types of art. Um, I created a Hong Kong pavilion and bring around six Hong Kong galleries to Masterpiece London, and then we create an exhibition um, in the fair. It's a selling exhibition. And this Hong Kong pavilion, uh, we got the support from the Hong Kong ETO, ETO Economic and Trade Office. So the government also um, sponsored a little bit. 
um, to co-present the opening ceremony with us at the fair, um, which also welcomed a lot of uh, guests as well as media. So you can see the photo. So we have quite a, a, a nice and busy um, opening during the fair. And, um, and then we also um, worked with Masterpiece London, um, which brought us a new European pavilion uh, in Final Asia in October. So this is uh, more like an exchange, but to us it's a perfect platform um, to promote Final Asia in London or in Europe. Uh, because um, I think in Europe a lot of people, in, including the press, may not necessarily know what exactly Final Asia. But through this exercise, we had actually uh, extended our arms um, to the European audience, and it also helped us to bring a lot more um, new dealers in the future to join Final Asia. So um, this exercise, again, is like um, our international branding exercise, um, business to business. And Throughout the whole exercise, uh, we also saw one um, um, phenomenon is that um, we found a lot of uh, Western galleries or dealers showing big interest in um, the business opportunities in Hong Kong or in Asia. Um, Mr. Kevin Ching already explained why um, Hong Kong is still um, having an unrivaled position um, because of the taxation and all these other reasons we mentioned. Um, that's why um, when we work with um, the Western dealers, um, they are very happy to, that in Hong Kong we have bilingual, we speak also both um, Mandarin and Cantonese. Uh, we have very um, professional art storage and logistic um, facilities, as well as very easy banking system. Um, even a lot of mainland Chinese buyers, they set up their own companies in Hong Kong. Um, they set up their art storage facilities in Hong Kong as well. That's why they come to Hong Kong, they attend the auction and the art fairs, and then they collect and, and they, they just put the art um, here in Hong Kong in their storage or in their, uh, in their house in Hong Kong or overseas. That's why um, we see such big opportunities that um, we will continue to grow. And that's why Final Asia in the next um, five years or 10 years, we will um, capture this opportunity to expand, um, not just about the number of um, exhibitors, it's about to um, introduce um, many different beautiful and magnificent collection of art um, to the local collectors. And also, um, now many friends ask me, why you um, so narrow down yourself to do an art fair just for ink? Is there a big market um, for you to develop this business? And my answer is definitely yes, because I'm going to launch it. Um, <laughs> because uh, on one hand, I see that um, um, when we are in, in Asia, when we talk about collecting art, Definitely, we need to also uh, factor in the cultural um, differences as well as the cultural understanding. Um, ink is a very uh, is the major or the unique um, artistic language of the Oriental culture um, here in Asia. So ink is with us for like over thousands of years. Uh, we see many many um, collectors, ink collectors and also in artists in this market. That's why we, um, Final Asia or our company, began to develop uh, different products, in, including, to, um, including this in Asia Fair, as well as the partnership program with China Guardian Auction House uh, that we launched our Beijing Final Asia in the last two years, uh, which also proved to be a very successful venture. And um, I hope that, um, um, the audience, like you, if you are not art collectors or if you don't attend art fair, please uh, remember us, Final Asia, and come to Hong Kong to join us in October. Thank you.